process? Good question. Um, so the process on a piece like this, often, often what I'll do is I'll sketch things out. I'll, I'll just work through compositions. And so I may hit a piece with an idea in mind, but I'll always lay down the background first, and then I'll just, I, I basically I paint by intuition. So even though I may have a composition sketched out, what actually happens, like I don't plan out the colors so much. I may go warm, it's like, oh, this is gonna be warm, this is gonna be cool. This is, it's dealing with these emotions, or I, you know, I just experience a death, or I'm really happy, you know, all these, whatever. I like the way, a leaf fell from the sky, you know, things like that. I take all that and then I'll work with the background just intuitively and then I'll see things and I'll take my sketch compositions and then work that into the foreground and then I'll go back and like on this I have a lot of like really, a lot of, a lot of my work has like really small detail that you have to like really get up on it and you go, oh, <laughs> subtle, it's there and you don't necessarily see it from back here but it, it adds to it, so. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing, um, like a lot of, like there's a lot of detail and like faces and characters that you kind of see in the background. And a lot of those, it's, it's sort of like, uh, if you think about life and death, a lot of what's going on in this background, it, it's sort of like energy, it's like an energy flow. So a lot of like, if you see characters or faces or entities, a lot of what that is, is, is um, those are some sort of life force that is transcendent, like they're in a transitional space between one existence to another. So as far as a theme, I guess that is kind of an underlying theme of what often happens in the background, the environment. Because uh, like this is the atmosphere and the atmosphere of their air is very, whereas we don't really see spirits or ghosts or guides or energy or whatever you want to call it, it's very prevalent here. Yes, yeah, and I'm actually working towards bringing, like working towards animation, and what I'm, I'm working towards is bringing what you see here into an animated state. So, uh, so hopefully you will see, because like, you see like snap, like these, my work I see is like a snapshot. There's a much larger scene going on, and this is much like if you took a camera and you framed it and took a shot, that's what it is, because there's much more going on there. So with animation, I'm hoping to like reveal more of the scenes and you would see transition. So if you see faces back here, they would flux in and out and then you would see something else. Yeah. Uh, I started with like, a lot of my paintings are on beer coasters and rec vinyl records. And like I, I was, a year ago I was working really, really small. And so I went from in the last, especially in the last three months, I went from four inches to like four feet. Um, and I really enjoy the process. So. So working larger, doing fewer shows, more, uh, more time on the pieces, and animation, taking these into animation. I really want to get into doing more animation for um, like bands, basically bands. <laughs> Putting my, making this stuff move to, to music. Music videos. Huh? Yeah. Or, or actually a big thing that I do is like, a, Live, like during a show, live projection during the band, that's what I, I would like to do more than music videos. All right, thank you. Ah, thank you.